Hey y'all, happy, shoot, I don't even know what day it is. Oh, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I am out and about in the city bright and early this morning. I actually had to come to Manhattan to get a COVID test, a rapid test, because I'm gonna be doing some background work on set of a TV show tomorrow. I was supposed to be working today, but they pushed it back and I'm gonna be on set tomorrow, so I have to come get another test so that I can be ready for tomorrow. Um, my appointment was at 11. I'm hoping they can take me early so that I can make it home uh, for my Zoom call on time. They, I feel like it shouldn't be a problem because I actually came late last time, so I feel like they're pretty flexible. But um, yeah, I'm about to go take my COVID test and then I'm gonna head back to Brooklyn. I am back home and I've set up everything for my Zoom meeting, but I just wanted to pop on here really quick and show you guys how I do my little setup when I'm having more professional uh, Zoom meetings or castings with like actual casting directors via Zoom. So as you can see, I have my backdrop here. I have a blue one and I also have a white one. I don't have a green screen yet, but I think maybe down the line, once I get more into acting, I'll invest in one of those. But the blue and the white backdrop work perfectly fine. I have my laptop here, which I just propped up on one of our stools from the kitchen and a shoebox and my laptop is here. And then I just have my ring light directly in front of me and that is pretty much my entire setup. If anybody watches my channel and they're into acting or modeling or anything like that, I can link um, my backdrop and my ring light. They definitely have come in really handy since we've been doing more castings from home, more auditions from home, more Zoom meetings from home. Um, so I will link this for you guys. I got it from Amazon and it was fairly affordable. One hour later. So I'm at the train station on the way to get some food you guys and one of my biggest pet peeves is when you're trying to get off the train and other people like bomb rush to get on the train before you can get off. Like can you please wait? And then they'd be bumping you all hard. I'll bump them right back but like still that's so irritating and it kind of just like ruffles my feathers a little bit like just wait but granted I'm guilty I've done that a couple of times before but for the most part I try to wait to let people off I just like step to the side let them off and then I go on I would definitely come here for like a game night or a chill like date. This is a really cute date spot. So many games, so many different books you can read. It's kind of hard to find. Like when I put the address in, it didn't bring me um, directly here and I had to call them for them to like give me directions. But then again, I'm really bad at directions, so I don't know. If you're in the Long Island City area or you don't mind taking this trip, I highly recommend this place. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I am actually about to head to set. I'm doing some background work on the set of a TV show today. Thankfully we're filming in Brooklyn so I don't have too far to go, but I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know what I'm doing today. I'm gonna try to get some behind the scenes on set um, and just show you guys kind of what background work is usually like. I don't do background work too often, but I wasn't doing anything today so I was like, might as well uh, do this one. So, um, I'm not like super well versed in the process, but I'm still gonna attempt to bring you guys along and like show you a little bit of behind the scenes. Usually we're not allowed to record on set, but I believe in the holding area, I'll be able to show you guys a little bit and then I'll try to sneak some things in here and there, but I'm obviously not gonna show you guys anything that would reveal like what project I'm working on today. So honestly, not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm definitely not bringing my camera though. So the footage will be on my phone. So you guys will have to bear with me on that one because 
my camera quality is a little iffy sometimes but i'm about to head out my call time is at 10 i think everybody else had a call time of 8 a.m so it was good to kind of get to sleep in at least a little bit and if i can i will check in with you guys once i get there I wasn't able to record much, but when I arrived, there was signage around the building to let us know where to go. I waited in the holding area and was immediately given a new mask to change into. After about an hour of waiting, I was called over to wardrobe. I had to bring my own wardrobe and I intentionally picked the warmest, most comfortable outfit because I knew we would be filming outside. Thankfully, they approved it. After about three hours of waiting in the holding area, we walked over to the actual set. When we got there, it was a bit chaotic. There was film crew mixed with regular passerbyers trying to figure out what we were doing and it was just a hot mess. We had been filming for about six hours straight with no break so I snuck away to the snack truck. But shortly after, we broke for lunch and I went to a nearby pizza shop that had the best pizza I had had in a while. After lunch, we waited in the holding area for another hour so I updated some things on my channel. Alright guys, so we just wrapped. I'm recording on my my phone obviously so sorry if it's a little shaky it was a very long day on set but thankfully we wrapped earlier than i was expecting i'm just gonna check in with you guys once i get home so that i'm not distracted <laughs> that's so that i don't get lost <laughs> 